For many years, AIDS was considered a terrifying terminal sickness. Today, however, AIDS has become less threatening due to progressive medications called ART, or antiretroviral therapy. The ART drugs do not kill or cure the HIV virus, but they can stop the virus from growing or spreading. Using combinations of these antiretroviral drugs to fight HIV is called highly active ART, or HART. In order for the heart therapy to take effect, it is crucial that the patients are compliant and persistent in taking their meds. This concept cannot be overly emphasized, as it is the core of the treatment. To help HIV-positive patients, the government has established a set of guidelines which can significantly assist health providers in making sure their treatment will succeed. For patients, being HIV positive is not always the top priority. They might have kids to raise, mortgages to pay, and work and financial issues to focus on. Their day-to-day -day requirements can be so taxing that they neglect their heart medication. The government-provided guidelines assist in various ways. They involve methods to help patients enter into care and adhere to their therapy despite all other difficulties. They cover art strategies, education and counseling for patients, interventions, and other tools to help with adherence. These guidelines also address treating HIV among special populations, like pregnant women, children, incarcerated individuals, the homeless, and patients with mental health or substance use disorders. Given the many guidelines, healthcare providers are recommended to start with the most feasible ones, depending on their resources and, most importantly, on the needs of their patients. The guidelines are divided into two main groups, one directed to healthcare providers who serve patients with HIV, the other directed to providers who work in medical and social services that help patients adhere to heart meds. 